Hi guys, Tech James here. In this video, I will show you guys how to create your own custom Super Mario Bros. DS levels. So all you will need for this video is obviously a DS or a 3DS, and then you will need some kind of R4 card to launch your game off of. So if you get your R4, you just want to take out the micro SD card, go and connect this up to your computer, and then I will show you guys what to do next. So you guys will need to download the new Super Mario Bros. editor. I will leave a link to this program in the description of this video. And once you're on this link, all you want to do is just click on the download button right here and it will take a second to download. So once you have downloaded it, go to your downloads folder and just find it the zip file in here. Now you also need a new Super Mario Bros. NDS ROM. Um, just get a clean one. Um, you can just back it up off your Nintendo DS cartridge. I do have a video on how to do that on my channel and you will need a 3DS to do it. But once we have got our ROM, in the NDS format, we want to get the zip file, we want to click it and then select extract here. It's then just going to put it into a file folder for us. So let's just double click on it. And this is the program we need to launch. So it's nsmbe5.exe. So just double click on this and it will open like this. So we need to click on open ROM. This is where we find our game in our downloads folder. So here is mine, new Super Mario Bros.nds. Let's just click on open. And now it's going to open it like this. So basically what we can do from here is basically edit the whole game. We can edit everything and the backgrounds, the like sprites, um, images. We can customize the whole game and turn it into our own kind of like custom Mario game. So I think what we're going to do for this video, let me edit world one just so I can prove this works. So if you just click on the buttons here, you can select what level you'd like in world one. Of course, you can edit everything. That's just going to take a long time. So let's just start with area one. So once we've got it, we need to just double click on it and it's going to open it just like this. So what we can do now is scroll along at the bottom here and you can actually see what the whole level looks like. So that is everything that is in this level. And what we can actually start to do is add in our own things. So there's tons of stuff you can add here. And um, we've got like three title sets, so zero, one, and two. And you can just pretty much just put anything you want in here. Um, so there are these like objects. It tells you what it does if you hover over it. Um, so I think what we're going to put, let's put a one up in. So if you want to get a one up, what you do is just click and click on it with left click. And then on the game itself, you just need to right click it. So we can right click these a few times. And as you can see, we've now got one up boxes in here. Now you can hold right click and, and do stuff like that. That also works. And um, if you want to delete it, you can just select it and just press delete on your keyboard. And there's plenty of stuff we can add. We can completely customize this level. Um, I believe we can get like flowers and stuff as well. So let's put some flowers in. Let's put um, this flower in right here. So we can just right click and build them and like create them like that just by holding right click. And I will prove this works because I'll just do something weird like that. And then you'll see that that's in there when we boot up the game. So yeah, once you've kind of like customized your level, you can really add as much stuff as you want. You can add some more of these blocks if you want to as well. Just like that. Maybe add some of these ones. So yeah, it's you'll get the hang of customizing it, I guess. Um, it might take a while to learn, and this can take quite a lot of time to um, actually get around to building as well. But let's just um, try and make this look as good as possible. So yeah, you can completely customize this. Obviously, you can make it a lot better than I'm doing. I'm just basically doing this for this video. You can actually copy and paste things if you hold Control-V and Control-C. So you can pretty much paste in as many coins as you want. You can actually paste multiple star coins as well, I'm pretty sure, just like that. So we will try and collect those. Let's put one at the start as well. Um, let's just put one here. Okay, so once you've kind of got your level and you like how it looks, what you can do is go to the top and just click on save level. So this is just going to save it and now we can export it to our game. There is lots of other options at the top. Most of these are fairly simple, what you'd find in pretty much every program. There's a background here where you can actually set the background or something. So once you need to set a background, you actually need to select a kind of like JPEG or PNG image. So I'm just going to try something in here. I'm just going to paste some random wallpaper in. And as you can see, it's now done that at the top. So I don't know what this is going to look like. I think you'll probably need to get it to fill out the full thing. But um, we can test it for sure anyway. So maybe we'll just add a few more blocks in. 
Okay, so once we've got our level um, how we want it, we can just click on save. Make sure you save it before you close out of it. Now we can just click on the cross at the top and our level should be saved. We can double click to go and you can see that everything is pretty much still here um, from when we last saved it. So what we can actually do now is there is a few more things that we can customize. We've got title sets on here. If you double click on these things, these are basically objects like blocks and stuff. You can change the color of them and you can completely customize them. It has blocks for every single level in here. We've also got backgrounds. Now this is the background that it will be on the game. So as you can see, this is what this one looks like. Actually, if we go to our grass land, I think we should actually be able to, yeah, you can change the colors of stuff as well. So if you draw like this, you can actually like invert colors or like completely black them out. It's pretty cool what you can actually do with this program. Um, we've got the ROM file browser as well. You don't really need to use this. Um, tools and options, and then there's just an about section. So if you guys have customized your level, I won't be showing everything because that's just gonna be a really long video, but it's um kind of like straightforward. Um, it's kind of like the Pokemon Game Boy Advance one as well, the same kind of editor. Um, once you just like learn how to use it you should actually be able to get the hang of this fairly quickly so I think what we're going to do now is export my level to my game and then we can actually play it on our DS so if we go to the tools and options right here we need to go to um, export patch so if we just click on this it's going to say select a clean original ROM this is where we need to choose our game so we'll just click on OK um, we need to go to our downloads folder now we select our game right here, or you can always create a new one. If you wish to have this clean run saved, we can just copy and paste a new one right here. And we're gonna save it to the copied version. So if you don't know how to copy and paste, it's just control V on the file and then control V for paste. So select this, click on open. It's gonna say select where to save the patch, click on okay. And then you can just call it anything like you want, like patch, and then just click on save. It's going to say patching will now start, may take a long time, click on OK. Um, because we haven't really done anything, it wouldn't take that long. Obviously, if you customize the whole game, um, it would take a lot longer. So it's going to say finished, we can just click on the cross. Now, once we have exported it, we need to import it. So just click on import patch. This is where we need to select the patch we just um, put into our downloads. Click on open. Should say the ROM has been patched successfully. And then we're just going to click on OK close out of this and now our game should be patched so we can close out of this and this is the copied version this is what we need to copy across to our SD card so we're just going to go and right click copy then go onto your R4 SD and then just right click and paste so just give that a couple of seconds just to copy the entire game across and then once it's copied across let's go onto my DS and let's see if we've got our custom level Okay, so back off our PC, let's go and put in our i4 card, and then we can just go and power on my 3DS. Okay, so now let's go and launch up our r4 card. Okay, so once it loads, let's go and launch up our game. So um, I've actually got three of them on here, but this is the one I need to use because this is a copy version, which I recently copied. So obviously we're just going to press A to launch this up. So the game should work just like normal. Um, and what we need to do is just, let's just go on Mario game and file one. Obviously you can save on this as well, it doesn't really make a difference. Okay, so on the game now, let's see if our custom level actually worked. So we edited this one, world one, one, so let's just press A to launch it up. And as you can see guys, it's now customized. So it's got these kind of like flowers, um, which I just built up at the back. Wasn't really sure. And we should be able to find our other stuff as well. So obviously we've got all of our question mark boxes, um, the coins, and we've got these kind of like stairs that I built up as well. These ones right here. And we've also got all of the star coins, um, which I put in there. So let's go and look for those. I think that was one down there. And then there was some other ones as well. So yeah, it's pretty cool. Obviously you can customize it a lot more and just make it a lot better. But um, this is pretty much just what I did. Oh, and we've got all those coins as there, there as well. So yeah, you can really customize the whole level. This is how people make those ROM hacks. Um, obviously they take a lot of time. I know some people that spent years designing them. And um, yeah, if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to like and subscribe. And I will see you guys in the next one.